Hello. Uh, the purpose of this video is for all students to avoid ever having to write a demand and supply curve on paper. And so I'm going to show you how we can do this through Excel. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. And uh, we should see this Excel document. You just type in the data. You should have a set of prices, a set of quantity demanded, and a set of quantity supplied. And so I'm um, going to put my mouse somewhere to the right of this. And then I'm going to go up here, pass file, home, left click on insert, and then uh, scroll over to charts. And if you have a different box, just find charts. And uh, I want this because it's insert scatter X, Y. So, so left click there. And so if you have a different um, uh, menu, then select sc scatter charts. And the scatter chart that I want here is scatter with straight lines and markers. I'm gonna left click there. You might have a blank square here. So what you do is you put your mouse somewhere in the square and then right click with your mouse. And this uh, uh, menu of choices will come up and you want select data. So left click on select data, and then you have the select data source box. Uh, left click on add. And so series name, you know, a lot of people like to name it quantity demanded, but technically uh, this is a demand curve. So I'm gonna type in demand. Um, and then X values you always want quantity in the X values. Price is always on the Y value. So that's why when I left click here, I wanna select the data under quantity demanded. And so you just left click and drag, and then you uh, left click back here. And so that's my, that's gonna go on a horizontal. That's what X value stands for. And then Y is gonna be my vertical. And this is where I want price. And so I'm gonna select the data under price. And that will be the demand curve. And then now what I wanna do is add a supply curve. So I'm gonna click add again, and then I'm gonna label this supply. And then down here, X values, remember what I said, you want to select quantity for X on the horizontal. So I'm going to see left click under quantity supplied and drag to the end of the data, then left click back here. And then price is always on the Y axis. And so I'm going to left click and drag and then left click back here. And there is your supply and demand curve. And so the other thing that I would add here is you'll see a plus sign here. If you can left click on chart elements and if you have a different box, look for chart elements somewhere on, on, on the uh, menus up above. I want an axis title. So I'm gonna left click on that. You wanna uh, give it a title, you can. I'm, I'm gonna leave the title off. Um, but I think the legend is important. So I'm gonna left click on a uh, legend. You can do it above top, left, or bottom. I like it on the right. So I'm going to keep that. And, and then I'm just going to left click anywhere on, or hit enter, I should say. And, or left click, I should say, outside the box. And there's your demand curve. Vertical axis is always price. So let me make that change. And I don't want it to be equal. I want it to just say price. And then the horizontal axis should say quantity. There is your demand and supply curve. So. so you might be asking, well, okay, I got supply and demand curve, but typically uh, instructor is going to be asking me a question about whether there will be an increase or decrease in demand. So, so let's just say you, you, you have a question, you know, it's going to be an increase in demand, let's say. And, and so in this case, what I would do is add another column and we're going to call this quantity demanded to. And uh, if we're, we're saying that's going to be an increase in demand. It's going to move this over so you can see the data. There's going to be an increase in demand. What uh, what will typically happen here is that there will be an increase um, uh, in this column. And so what we're going to do here is, um, and, and so here, what we're going to do is make the increase um, here at 200. So I'm just going to add. 100 
um, for each quantity demanded. So this is going to be uh, 150. I'm going to add 100. That's going to be 250. This is 200. I'm going to add 100. That's going to be 300. And, and so forth. 250 will be 350. 300 will be 400. Um, 50 will be 150. 0 plus 100 is going to be 100. And so there's my column here. And then I'm going to left click somewhere here on this data. Again, select select data. I'm going to add a third curve and I'm going to call this demand two. And so my X value is going to be quantity again. Here we're talking about quantity, quantity under quantity demanded two. And then um, what we're going to do, the price is still going to be price, the data under price. So I'm going to left click here. And there is your additional curve. And so that is how you draw demand and supply. And so I'm going to stop it right here.